Let's take a look at the milestone. Just to note, milestones run on fixed price projects only, so if you try to set up a milestone on a TNM project, it's not going to like it very much. You won't be able to get through. It'll let you know that it's only valid for fixed price projects. We'll head out to the project contract and add ourselves a billing rule. We'll keep it as milestone. And what you'll see with the milestone building rule is a fast tab down here for your different milestones. So now I can lay out the milestones for my project. So let's say I've got $10,000 due upon contract signing. Let's say and another 50,000 for phase one. I can put the date out there. So on and so forth. So you can see how as many milestones as you need in the system. One thing to note as I set up these milestones and I head out to my project, let me back off my project contract here. If I head out to my project, on the on account transactions, it is creating these on account transactions for us to invoice in the system. But notice I can change them here if I throw them into edit mode. Well, let's see what happens. So I can change them here. Let's take a look at my billing rule here. So it does update it. One thing you can't do through the project is invoice those transactions through the project. So all the invoicing has to go through the project contract. So you'll notice that when you come out here on your project contract, you're going to go through the invoice proposal. Now, notice I've got that billing rule coming through. Milestone billing rule, $145,000. It hasn't picked up anything for me to invoice. So the one cool feature about using milestones is that you can't inadvertently invoice your milestones like you could on on-account transactions previously when you're not using these billing rules. When we're ready to invoice the milestone billing, we'll come out here to update milestone status on our project contract here. And we have the ability now to mark the milestones as complete to signify when we're ready to invoice. So Unless this is marked as complete, it's not going to appear on your invoice proposal when you go and invoice your project contract. So this is basically one of the differences between using standard on account transactions in the milestone billing rule. The standard on accounts don't give you this functionality. And then when you try to invoice your project, all the on account transactions become available to invoice. It might lead you to selecting the wrong one, so on and so forth. So this one forces you to check which one you want and then you can invoice it. Notice here that I have a project date of 11-1-2017. So when I go and just create my invoice proposal right now, you'll see that nothing comes through the billing rule, even though I said I marked it as complete. The area up here is what is stopping that from happening. So because this is the filter area, you can set any number of filters up here, one of them being the transaction start date and end date. So if I put the end date of 11.1 and research now for my transactions, you'll see that that invoice amount gets populated that I want it to invoice. And then invoicing proceeds as normal. So I'll post it. And then take a look at my contract status. And again, you'll see the $10,000 was invoiced and it's tracking the remaining and the percent complete. 